Okay, so in this problem, we're going to solve it together as we go because I couldn't fit it all onto the screen. So let's read through it first. The graph representing a function is shown below. So you can see this parabola right here. And they say which function has a minimum that is less than the one shown in the graph. So first, let's, let's just say what, what is the minimum. That's this point here, the lowest point in the graph. And that is the point 1, 2, 3, and then down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's the point 3, comma, negative 7. So in order for the minimum to be less than this, it has to be lower than negative 7. And we'll solve this uh, in what I think is the fastest way, but then I'll show a little bit about how you can use the graph and calculator to solve it. So first of all, I know that uh, choices 2 and 4 are out because I know that these are the absolute value function graphs right here right these absolute value signs and the absolute value function just in, I mean without even a precise sketch the when we have the absolute value of y equals x uh, y equals absolute value of x excuse me that looks like a v shape that goes down to 0 if we plug in 0 for x y is 0 and then it goes up from there if x is 1 y is 1 if x is 2 y is 2 but on the other side it goes up in the same way because if x is negative 1 y is still 1, right? The absolute value of negative 1 is still 1. The absolute value of negative 2 is still 2. So this is the original <coughs> absolute value function. And then here, the plus 3, uh, adding or subtracting inside the absolute value uh, symbols moves the graph left to right. If we add, it goes to the left three places. So I'll use purple for this. And then it goes down six places. Now, So left, 1, 2, 3. And then down 6. So we have this new essentially graph right here. And I just know that if you go down 6, that means this lowest point is going to be now negative 3. <coughs> Excuse me, negative 6. This shifting uh, down by 6 takes the whole graph down 6, which is not lower than 7, so it's out. Same thing is true here. This time we go to the right, because we're subtracting inside the absolute value, 8 places like over here, and then up 2. Let's say this is it. So like this time the minimum point is 8 and the height of that point is 2. That minimum is 2, not less than negative 7. So those choices are out. Okay, so so for me, I think the, the quickest way to find the minimum is to use the approach negative b over 2a. Negative b, let me choose a different color. Negative b over 2a will always find the x value of your minimum and then we plug that in to find the y value, f of negative b over 2a. Let's see if I'm right. Maybe this would be slower, I don't know. So in the first one, b equals negative 6, right? And a equals 1. b is always a number next to the x value, a is always a number next to x squared. So negative b over 2a would be 6 over 2, which is 3. And then I take f of 3. That's what I wrote here, f of negative b over 2a. That means, essentially, it's a fancy way of saying, plug 3 into your equation. So y equals 3 squared, 9, minus 18, plus 7. That's negative 9 plus 7, which is um, negative 2. And that is not less than negative 7. So the answer has to be 3. But I'll confirm it. So let's say we find our negative b over 2a value now. b is negative 2. a is 1. Right? And negative b over 2a would be 2 over 2 times 1 or 2, which is 1. And then you plug in 1. So we have y equals 1 squared minus 2 times 1, which is minus 2, minus 10. And it's 1 minus 2, negative 1 minus 10 is negative 11. That is lower than negative 7. So that will be a graph where the, the, vert, the lowest point, the vertex, the minimum, is below negative 7. Now, if you don't like this approach and you want to use a graphing calculator, it might take a little bit more time, but here are some things you might do. So, if you want to graph um, the quadratic, right? So, x squared, x squared, minus 6x, oops, I'm still in the exponent, sorry, I'll start over. x squared, go to the right to get out of my exponent, minus 6x, and then plus 7. Right, you have this. I want to see a graph of it. Oops, I still have a stat plot on. Let me just hit second stat plot. I'll turn them all off. Stat plot is when you're um, graphing data. Here I'm graphing an equation. I see part of it, ew, but I want to see the whole thing. So I'm going to go to zoom standard. Hopefully that'll do it for me. 
So, okay, this is a graph of the first one. If you want to find the minimum of it, is that that's this point here. You hit second calc, choice three, minimum, and you tell the calculator, well, the minimum, it wants, it wants a left bound, it wants a point to the left of your minimum. Hit enter there, and then I go to the right of our minimum. Right, go past it, and then I'm just following this cursor here until I've gotten past that minimum point, and I hit enter and again, enter again to guess, and there I see three comma negative two. So that's that minimum. And you can repeat that for choice two to see the lower minimum. And just play around the zoom fun, um, button here. If zoom standard doesn't work, you can do zoom fit, or you can scroll up or down, right? And then you can also grab absolute value in a similar way. Uh, here, there's no absolute value button, I don't think, but you can hit math and then go to number, and you'll see the first thing is absolute value. So if I want to see this one, absolute value of x, plus 3, go add my absolute value sign, minus 6, I can then turn off, right, my first graph, I don't want to see that anymore, press the graph button, here it is, now I can, <coughs> I don't know if I can use the minimum button actually, but I'll use the trace button here, if I hit trace, it's going to follow the graph along, so if I go down, I can see that the height of this graph, right, is not going to go below negative 7, I can just follow those numbers there. And right, so here uh, the interval is kind of weird, but I could I could actually plug in an x value if I go to uh, second trace, and if I say okay, choice one is value, as so I just picked. What is this thing equal to uh, when x is negative three? That'll be the lowest point. I get negative six. That's, that's my minimum. Let me see if I can. I don't know if I can hit the minimum point here. That's choice three. Let's see if that works. Go to the left and then the right, and then guess. Oh yeah, it works too. So that's another way of finding the minimum. Um, so you can plug in the absolute value that way, and, uh, but I feel like that's a little bit more time consuming, uh, but if that works for you, you can find the minimum uh, precisely for each of these functions. Thank you.